Amanda Knox was straightening up her prison cell when a delegation with members of the Italian parliament and a few journalists passed by her door. I approached the bar door to her cell and told her I was an American journalist with the Associated Press and visiting the prison with a delegation. She perked up on hearing English and neared the door. A guard with a huge ring of bronze keys opened her cell and we filed inside. She was wearing a gray speckled turtleneck, black leggings, white gym socks and bedroom slippers. Speaking in both Italian and English, she answered questions about how she feels and her life in prison. Eight days ago, Amanda Knox was convicted of murder and sentenced to 26 years in the Capane prison on the outskirts of Perugia. Amanda was charged with the murder of her apartment mate, Meredith Kircher. Kircher was found on the morning of November 2, 2007, lying in a pool of blood with her throat slit. She had been sexually assaulted. Prosecutors convinced the jury that Amanda, her former boyfriend Raffaele Solecito, and Rudy Guede of the Ivory Coast killed Meredith in a drug-fueled sex game gone awry. Amanda has denied any wrongdoing and said she was not at home on the night of the murder. The delegation was not allowed to speak to Amanda about the court case and prison officials repeatedly interrupted our conversation in English to make sure we were not talking about the case. Amanda seemed surprised and pleased by the visit. She told the Italian politicians that she has to accept many things that she does not understand and does not think are fair. Her prison cell was small, with two beds and a small bathroom. She spoke to AP in English, saying how she missed her family and has found the other prisoners and the prison guards to be supportive of her. As we passed back down the corridor, leaving the prison, I saw Amanda sitting on her bed reading. She looked up, waved, and said, ciao. Amanda Knox says that she is scared, but that she's trusting in her family and her lawyers, who are telling her to be hopeful and to be tranquil. In the meantime, she's trying to keep busy at the Capane prison. She's working in the laundry room, and she's continuing her studies, trying to communicate with her professors in the United States by letter. Tricia Thomas, the Associated Press at the Capane prison.